So he has 5 power. He can't add any card. I think we should just snap. Ooh. <laughs> he just given up, man. He just literally given up. Okay, we have our turn 2 play here. Which is nice. And... This can play into uh, the vault, right? Which is good. Um, we can kind of see where he's playing on turn 5. Because turn 5 is kind of like our semi last turn. Then that's because of the vault. Daredevil. Wait, we have our Daredevil Spider-Man combo. Ooh, okay, this is bad. Spider-Man might not help us win. <laughs> we can lock down lanes, but if he has Patriot... Oh, this is even... Ah, this is terrible. He thinks he... I mean, he this benefits Patriot deck, but I just need to remove this. I mean, he's very confident, right, and everything. I think if we lock down lanes, right, we have a decent chance here. We, at least we still have like a... We have a guaranteed lane win, right? Which is good for us here. Let's just see where he plays. We have advantage here, which is good. Unfortunately, we do not have Cosmo. Hey, wait, Cosmo doesn't hit it. Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, we do not have Enchantress. I think we have to seal this lane. Like, he's gonna play something here. As long as there's something here, right? It means we are gonna lose. Because he can still... He always increase the power, right? Using Patriot. If, if he adds Patriot here, this becomes it. I still, I, I still can't Shang-Chi it, right? Yeah. So that's pretty bad. Yeah, so if you look at this, um, so we seal this lane, which is perfect. I think you can seal this lane too. Wait, knock down this. Cards can't be added. So this is the last turn, right? So this is sealed. We just need to seal this. Professor X be a better choice. No, Professor X doesn't allow us to add cards in. So, we need to have this here. Ooh. So he has 5 power. He can't add any card. I think we should just snap. Because we have the advantage here. <laughs> Rewards! Fuck you, Patriot! Oh my god, I really want Patriot, man. I've been trying so hard to advance my collection level. But I'm just getting shitty cards. Beast. Mojo. Mojo is not too bad. But they're not like key engine cards like Patriot, Mr. Negative. Like, I'm running out of decks to play, man. I'm running out of decks to play. But at least I got Spider-Man. So that's good. And I got a va pixel variant. I mean, I've grown to love this a lot. I've grown to love this a lot. And we managed to win against Patriot. I absolutely hate Patriot, man. But I also love to play Patriot. Because they are playing <laughs> no ability stuff. I want to run Cyclops. Oh, Cyclops, nice. We just need Mr. Sinister here. Yeah, Mr. Sinister will be perfect. Drop Daredevil on turn 2. Then we are praying that we get our uh, Spider-Man. Or our... Professor X, yes. I was thinking of what cards to play, that's why I was, you know, speaking very slowly. Um, nice. I'll just go with Storm here. Nice, he didn't play in the Storm lane, that's perfect. I think we can pretty much win this. I got a good feeling about this. I think we can drop this here. Yeah, I don't think this will get killed. 5 power is like, a lot. If he de decides to focus on this lane, right? I mean, we still win, right? Either way. Because we have our Killmonger and we have our Doctor Doom. 
It's a it's a win. That's fine. <laughs> terrible card, man. Terrible card. He seems to be running a lot of new cards, isn't it? He didn't upgrade this. Let's lock him down. And <laughs> we both <laughs> play their devil, so we kind of cancel out our power here. Aha, he can't play any cards here. Okay, so this is the bad part here. Even with Spider-Man, right? That doesn't mean that. It's like if you're running things like if you're running like Professor X, then Captain Marvel could not can't get in, but Captain Marvel still can go in here. Yeah, that's a problem. I think right. What we do is we move this over here. And we drop Doom. We are adding 5 power as compared to dropping a Killmonger, right? Killmonger, if we drop it on the right hand side, we add 1 power. Would that be the better choice? Because we really sealed the lane, right? So if we drop this, we add 3 plus 2, 5. And then we remove 3. Nah. I think the numbers doesn't add up. This is, this is better. Overall, like in on the overall basis, this is much better. I think we can snap here. Since he can't add any card, only Captain Marvel can enter, right? And he will still lose either way. Oh, I really love this man. I mean I know people hate Pixel, I also hate Pixel. Ooh. He just given up man, he just literally given up. <laughs> he can't play on Flooded, he can't play on Hala. I think we are the worst nightmare for our destroyer, isn't it? Because you want to play this outside of the armor lane, right? So that you can fight on both lanes. Oh, Spider-Man. <laughs> Daredevil. And we have our Spider-Man. Wow, I realized Daredevil and Spider-Man goes together, right? They are like the city kind of like heroes, you know, the neighborhood heroes. Wow. I, I, I'm hoping that the new Daredevil TV series, Spider-Man is going to make a cameo. That would be very cool, isn't it? Daredevil make a cameo in Spider-Man's movie. Then it would be good to see it go the other way around. The Daredevil uh, cameo in She-Hulk was, was amazing. I really love it. Like, I like the new approach of like Daredevil. I mean, as compared to Netflix, right? Netflix was good as well. Um, wait, let me just play my card here. I just play this here. Yeah, I think Netflix one is very nitty. It's a, it's not nitty. It's it's very gritty. Yeah, it's like very dark and gritty, slow burn kind of feel. But I like the new Daredevil as well because it's like a lot more humorous, and I like. It, it is using his new new BD club, right? Previously, he doesn't use it. He just uses his fist and he fights his way through. Yeah, do Shang Chi. Yeah, the BD club is so cool. I think the Daredevil movies was like, I like the weapon a lot, but the characters. I think Ben Affleck is just terrible. Oh, nice! This is very cool. Infinite Shang Chi. Okay, that's nice. Ooh. If he's gonna summon cards for me, I'm alright with that. Then we can lock down this lane then. We just need to be able to summon enough, right? Let's just see how this goes. I don't know why he decided to do that. Hopefully that's enough, right? Oh my god. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> ah. We should just snap, right? We should just snap. <laughs> he didn't know that we're gonna run lane control, man. He didn't know about it. We are opening first. Ah, this is awkward. Wait, does he have some sort of cards? Is should he be retreating now? I'm very confused. Very, very confused. I'm very scared. He's not retreating. Is he lagging? Is he lagging? 
โอ้โอ้ปาซิวินไรโอเค I guess the 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 plan for him was to play Dog Ock and then pull whatever cards with Magneto so they can win with Dog Ock. But didn't he kind of like think about it like there's Daily Bugle right? There's a chance that I might have gotten his Shang Chi. I literally, I got his Shang Chi and I got my Shang Chi as well. Like what the heck? What the heck, right? <laughs> but I think we got lucky there. He summoned our Shang Chi and we managed to kill him. Which is nice. <laughs> Ooh, Nova. Awesome possum. Let's drop Nova over there. I think I'll drop there, Devil. It would be interesting to see whether there's statistics on um which lane is the most likely. Like people are gonna drop their cards on like turn one or turn two, like on which lane, right? Yeah. Because my guess is it will start on the. This will be like the highest. Then this will be the low. This will be the lowest because usually people go by stats, right? Okay, cool. Um. Okay, that's interesting. So what we need to do here is we need to do this. Oh, we can't play anywhere. Oh, that's pretty bad. Let's just lock down this lane. This, uh, wait, does it benefit us? Maybe we shouldn't have locked down this lane though. Because right now, right now, my cards can be played. Okay, I don't think it benefits me. It def I'm not quite sure whether it benefits him or not. Okay, I think it doesn't benefit him because this reduces the cost by one. And if he's running Angela, he's trying to swarm, right? Or he could be running other cards as well. He doesn't have to swarm. I think we run this here. To try and seal this lane. And then Daredevil can win us the game. <laughs> yeah, we have a, like, what, 8, 5, 13, 15 power. So we are in a very good spot and we have our Daredevil here. Our baby Daredevil. I mean, this is not bad, the variant. When I got this, it was like, Ugh, can you give me something better looking? But this is not ugly. Not that ugly, I suppose. Chibi is like the worst. Then Pixel, slightly better. Some are good, some are bad. But Chibi all around is just terrible looking. The head is so big. Like, like how is that cute? Disgusting. I, I, that's why I don't like Funko Pops also. also. Like, I don't get why people collect it. I mean, like, how is that cool? Right? It's just such a big hit. Like, it doesn't look cool. It's kind of like this. It does. It loses the, the feeling, right? I was like, like it, it's head is so big that you, I can't even. It doesn't look like the character anymore. That's the whole point. I'm quite surprised he played Juggernaut. <laughs> he still loses. Lizard. Lizard is a good card, man. <laughs> awesome. So much value from Lizard. If you're running like Storm, right? Lizard is a good choice. Alongside with Jessica Jones and Juggernaut, they, are, they go very well together with Storm. Because like, you lock down the lane early, and most likely they can't fill this up, right? So Lizard will get 5 power. It will remain at 5 power. Yeah, or you can go with Jessica Jones. Um, Juggernaut works too. Ooh, we have our Daredevil, nice. And we have our turn 6 play. I think Nova will be good here. Nova kill Monger, Mr. Sinister, left hand side. Ooh. Nice. I think we need to run Daredevil first. Fuck. He removed the storm. I could have... <laughs> he do the counterplay right on Nexus. Ah, this is pretty bad. Um... I think for a start we can do this. Yeah. Yeah, we can just drop it here, right? That doesn't really matter. Then we can just drop Killmonger next turn. Okay, thank god we are dropping this now. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, Mr. Sinister will be like, what, one, one power each. 
Kind of pathetic, isn't it? Um, I feel that we need to drop cards here. Okay, let's do this. What we really need here, right, is Spider-Man. I mean, it's good that we removed the sunspot, that is perfect. But we also need to get Spider-Man here. Okay, that's perfect. So this is how we play. We, we just lock him out of his turn. <laughs> I mean, the whole game plan will be we lock down uh, with Spider-Man, right? Or we can lock down in Professor X as well. But I think the better plan will be we lock down in Spider-Man and we add more cards to Nexus to win all the other lanes. Nice. We have our Nova. We have our Nova and Killmonger combo. Why? Why Sokovia? Why? And we have our Mr. Sinister as well, man. God damn it. Fuck. It's bloody annoying. Okay, and somehow this is the first game. What a bad start. I'm glad we dropped our Mr. Sinister first, otherwise we'll be summoning like a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> one power Mr. Sinister. It would be terrible. Yeah, I can't, I can't summon it here anymore. Let's just play this here. And then maybe we drop Jessica Jones to seal this lane. I'm hoping for a strong powerful card here. I think I'm okay with that. I'm confident. I don't know why he's snapping. Like, why is he confident? I mean like, like why is he so confident, right? Doesn't make sense. Okay, he needs to grow way more than what? 14 or 15 power. Um, I can't lock this down, right? If I drop this here, I can't really lock it down. But this becomes a problem, isn't it? Let's just drop a uh, Cosmo here. And then we prevent him from casting Killmonger, right, I suppose. Okay, that's fine. I suppose he's going to drop Killmonger on the right hand side. How are we going to beat 12 power? I think that's the biggest problem isn't it? We have 8 power in total. We are revealing first. Maybe we just take a bet, like take a risk here. We drop Shang-Chi and hopefully we, we destroy him right? I mean, that's the, that's the best move here. Oh my god, he retreated. Why did he snap? Why did he snap? Oh, okay. We finally got our daredevil for once. I'm not quite sure whether brute is a good thing, but I suppose we have Nova. We just need our Killmonger, that's all. Uh, maybe we, if we get a storm, we can lock down the lane with brute, right? Oh, this is good. Our benefits us here. Let's go with daredevil here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. He has wave in his hands. Is he gonna drop wave? If he's gonna drop wave, then why do I need to drop my wave, right? I just gotta drop. Hmm. Where is he gonna drop the wave? I just think he's gonna drop uh here. Okay, I guess wrongly then. It's alright. And then we can play this, right? Actually we should just lock down the lane first. No, but if we lock down we don't have we can't cast our whatever cards, right? Wait, he played Wave just to play Deathlock. What is going on? Jeez. Oh, nice. We have our Spider-Man. We can lock down the lane. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I can't play this here. Sheesh. 
If I add 8 power, would that be enough? Yeah, I think so. 8 power is enough, right? This is on review, yeah. I can't play here, this is my only choice, <laughs> unfortunately. Ooh, let's go! You know, to be honest, I used to hate pixel variants a lot, but I've come around to really love, love this. Yeah, I mean, the more I look at it, the more I like it. Reminds me of the old Game Boy Advance Spider-Man games, right? Uh, what do we do here? I think we can lock down this lane. Eh, no, there's no point, right? If we lock down this lane, then we can play something else here. Uh, what do we play here? We're summoning two broodlings. Uh, what's the highest power card that we can run here? To be honest, there's not much actually. Ah, it's pretty bad. We should just run three power, three power each, right? So that's three power. No. Uh, yeah, we can just go with one three power here, and then we can just go with this. I'm not quite sure what. I I don't get this deck actually because it's running wave with destroy with strong guy. And I mean, this username looks like an actual player, right? I mean, the person might be experimenting with different stuff here, but I have no idea what he's running. Like, there's no clear end game, right? Usually, you run wave, you have a, you're playing a big card, and instead, it benefited me. I should actually be running wave instead, but I don't have wave. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? Spider Man is actually a good, uh, replacement. It's not really a replacement, but a good alternative to Professor X. You can just knock down the lane, and at the same time, you can still play cards on your side. Professor X doesn't allow you to, to do that, right? But the Daredevil helps you to ensure that you win all the time. But Spider-Man still gives you a leeway. But the bad part about Spider-Man is that um, if your opponent is running a move deck or the White, Ti White Tiger on review or Doctor Doom, they can still add cards in. So that's the bad part here. But I mean, having two alternatives here is good. So we can play on turn 5, right? Professor X or Spider-Man. Ooh, Mr. Sinister, Mr. Sinister. Ah, this is bad for us. But I mean, it's good at the same time. I mean, if our opponent is running Swarm. Uh... Oh, that's good. Come on. I need to get my Q-Monger here. Q-Monger would be nice. Let's drop our Lizard. Ugh. Annoying. I think for a start, we can drop Cosmo at the center. To kind of prevent him from activating on review, right? Oh, he's gonna go all, all out on the right hand side. Ah, this is bad. I mean, I'm alright with that because I can always use Dr. Doom to win, right? Let's snap him because I think we, we win here. Ooh, confident. What a confident man. <laughs> I'm not quite sure whether, you know. Okay, this is terrible. I just realized, right? I could potential. I should probably shouldn't have dropped Cosmo there. <laughs> because it could summon my Doctor Doom, right? <laughs> Which is absolutely terrible. What if we lock the lane down? Is he gonna drop on the left hand side? We don't have Daredevil to help us, man, Jesus. Fuck. If I drop Professor X here, we, we are just losing it, right? No, we can't let that, we can't afford, <laughs> we can't let that happen. He might play on the left hand side because he's going to be summoning a card on the center, right? What's the best way to go around doing this? Should I lock down this lane? It's not a very smart move though. Yeah, I don't think it's a very smart move. Oh, nice. Haha, <laughs> it couldn't activate. <laughs> it couldn't activate. Ah, I love my dog.